beautiful those flowers are. Philip, we're going to start with one of the, what I think is one of the most amazing plants. And these are all easy to grow. It's an annual, but it's a self-seeding annual. We got the man with all the answers, no worries. We're also going to remind you throughout the show about his wonderful fertilizers because Philip's fertilizer is really easy to use, his time release fertilizer M67454. But let me start you with this. You're going to get a five piece Cleon collection live plants. One will be in blue, one lavender, one purple, one rose, and one white. So you'll get five different colors on these. Three easy pays at $9.56. And for those of you who really have, and there's the fertilizer information. Thank you, everybody, for doing that. Because that this is just like your insurance policy as you shop with us today. Everybody should have this. If you don't use all of it, it lasts from season to season. And one of the easiest fertilizers um, to use. And Philip will show us how to do that. But one of the nice things about our garden shows is you get to work with this expert award-winning expert he's going to give us design ideas plant ideas plus Philip you have the experience so these are not going to ship until it's time in our zip code wherever we live for them to go into the ground or containers however we're going to use them so now I don't even ever I've never looked at the map in all these years I just trust QVC it shows up I open the box and I go okay time to do it Yes, and good morning, Pat. Good morning, sir. Fantastic. This is one of my favorite annuals, and you had mentioned oh, it's self-seeding annual. Yes. And let me tell you what that means is that this will drop seeds around that will come back in that general area, and you can collect the seeds and move them to other areas. Oh, cool. This can spread more than a perennial, but in a very beautiful way. So you can, this is why it's called a spider flower. It looks more like a magic wand. It me. does. And, and these will actually dance in the garden. The blooms are up to eight inches across. Uh, the plants themselves are only about two feet tall, so they're quite manageable. They've got strong stems, uh, no need to stake these. They love full sun. They have no disease problems. And the deer are not interested. Okay, wait. Woohoo! <laughs> yes, um. indeed. <laughs> the deer aren't interested. Amen. Because that can be a frustration, I think. And look at the pretty colors. If you can swing, use the easy pay option on this. Maybe get at least two sets or possibly three, depending on you know what we're talking about in your yard. Look at that pink, Philip. Yes, and you, you'll get a variety of colors. Blush, pink, lavender, rose, purple, white, everything in between. Um, and uh, these are great in containers. They're also great within your flower border. You know, I've got them in my back garden because they're drought tolerant. And ah. once they get going back there where mm -hmm. they come up from seed from last year, I don't have to worry with them. I don't have to worry about the deer eating the seedlings as they're coming up or the rabbit messing with them. Um, these are gonna come up and dance in the distance. Um, so they're great to add in with your daylilies uh, because they won't okay. crowd out the daylilies and they add a completely different color uh, and texture configuration and the fact that they add dance to the garden. See, here's the one of the many huge benefits of having Philip bring his designs to QVC is you chose the five colors. So one of these will be blue, one lavender, one purple, one rose, and one white. And like I said, if yeah. you can afford two sets, that might be nice because it's always nice to have pairs of things. Yeah, it, it is, but um, these, these will multiply quickly, and you'll okay. see uh, the plants I'm shipping out will be ready to bloom straight away. And don't think of this in terms of it just being an annual, because it does seed around. And i tell you what I do is that let me just show you uh, this. Yeah, please. Let me just show you this. You see, we've got oh, look this how flower that is. here. It, it's got little seed pods on it. And I actually will put a little, a, a coffee cone, you know, like the filter underneath uh -huh. it and collect the seeds that way. Ah. And then I can seed them around. I Hello. actually threw some out in front of my post office, which the Westchester post office is the ugliest place on God's green earth. <laughs> and it's not very green, Hello. but they now have Cleome that blooms in the summertime. They do? Thanks to my oh job. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna look at that <laughs> next time I go there. That's awesome. I love that. Go back for a second because I'm not going to let you get away with with just throwing that away. That's a great tip. So what you took just that coffee filter that's very inexpensive, um, buy it at the grocery store, and then you will the when it's dry at the end of the season, do you just shake that and then the? Yes, and they'll 
they'll just drop down and they're okay. small, kind of like poppy seeds. They're oh, about that size. Okay. And like if, okay. if there's a place like oh, in sorry, I've I don't have any. Them they're not ready to I've, seed, so. Yeah. I've scattered them around uh -huh. uh, around little park paths and also in uh -huh. other places in my garden. I've put them in envelopes and sent them to friends of mine. So it's one of those great shareable plants. Um, so and cool. To mix it in uh, with your existing borders and they'll come up through everything else. And you'll have these beautiful flowers with all those this very interesting foliage. Mm -hmm. Nice foliage. Uh, which, which is so yeah. handsome looking. But it's one of those annuals that will perform like a perennial because of it reseeding. Have something in your garden remain. that nobody else had. Oh, <laughs> definitely. That's why we're coming here to have you help us. 900 yes, you. remain. That's it for the season. So keep that That's in correct. mind. So you're saying, you know, plant it with the daylilies. Remind me again, it needs sun. What kind of ground uh, dirt, you know, if you will? In any, any kind of average soil as long okay. as it's not waterlogged. Um, okay. And you can just, when I say that you can scatter the seeds around, you don't have to plant the seeds. Scatter just, them just on top of the ground. Oh. And they My just come up, scatter them in your beds, um, and, and they will reward you year after year. My grandmother had these, but hers were tall and spindly. They were beautiful. This is a better size, two feet tall. Yeah, and it has real nice lush greenery to it. Absolutely. And, and the sun and, patience. Look how you yes. did the sun they're, patience. They're beautiful, as a beautiful to mix in with, with petunias mm -hmm. or with sun patience. But again, something that is very easy, a low-maintenance annual that's going to give you lots and lots of pop. M90736, you're getting five of these, five plants ready to go. Eight, 850 now remain, and we have 850, and there you can see the collage of those beautiful, beautiful colors. All right, we're only getting warmed up here. All right, coming up next, oh, Philip, these are so beautiful. I, you know, to me,